Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is the Prince of FNAF and if you're new here, please consider subscribing and also be sure to hit that notification bell. That way, you'll indeed be notified for any awesome videos like this in the future. Alright, here is the new Marvel Legends series Morbius the Living Vampire as part of the Venom Pool build a figure wave looking pretty cool and obviously for those of you who've been following my look at this wave of figures is I've been taking the build a figure piece out of the packaging just so I can keep the reveal of the completed Venom Pool build a figure once I have all the figures as kind of a surprise um, but here is Morbius looking pretty freaky you can see the side of the box that showcases a cool picture of Morbius. And then you can see Morbius, like a nice glamour shot of Morbius right there. You can see the other figures, which we've already taken a look at, are the Absolute Carnage Carnage. We've taken a look at Ghost Spider. And there is going to be a video coming out for Phage and the Venomized Miles Morales as well. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Definitely a really awesome look at the uh, at the set that you can get, and obviously they all combine into the monstrous Venom Pool. Michael Morbius, the living vampire, prowls the night, tortured by his life-sustaining thirst. So with that being said, we're gonna get this uh, bad boy unboxed. I'll take a closer look. At it. In case you're wondering why it looks so gloomy, atmosphere, and also a huge part of it is because he's white, so he's going to capture the the flash a lot. So here is the Mobius vampire figure from Marvel Legends. He looks pretty cool. Looks edgy. I like his kind of Edward Scissorhands esque, you know, outfit. Like, he's got a leather jacket with, like, a girdle. Never seen a guy wear a girdle before. Um, uh, we've got some zippers here. Very cool. You can see some seam lines and everything like that. He's got some nice claws. He is a vampire. He has a very angry face. Now, this one doesn't come with any accessories or anything. So he can't swap out any heads or anything. He does have this very angry, very vicious-looking head sculpt. Some nice, crazy, kind of mad scientist hair. Uh, nicely sculpted with some black lines. He's got some nice pointy ears. Yeah, very cool vampire character. Um, I think this is supposed to be based on the new Morbius. Like the new design for Morbius. Because the Morbius I know looks more akin to, you know, your cliche you know, cheesy horror movie vampire. That's what Morbius is to me. But this is like a more modernized version of the character, which looks pretty cool. For articulation, he can do the exorcist. And his head can move down and side to side as well. He does have a arm joint that moves out that far. Again, moves out that far, moves down, moves around like that again on this side it moves all around he does have some nice arm joints that go up like that like a, a, if you can get both of the arms like that he can be like a, you know first turn into a vampire and he's like checking himself out like that i guess that looks cool right he, he, he first became a vampire so now he's like checking himself out like what if i become um but yeah Really cool like that, you can get his hands like that. He does have a full rotation here in the kind of muscle area. Getting this arm down too, again. Nice rotation in his muscle bicep area. And he does have a rotation in his claws. Um, that goes for both sides and they can move up and down. Same for this side as well. Um, now, he does have a rotation, full rotation right here at the waist. Does have a decent crunch. Um, does have 
a nice red. But he is a he's an edgy vampire, so I'm not I imagine he'd be doing a split. There's a nice cut at the uh, thigh, so we can angle his feet however you want. There is a nice uh, nice rotation here at the legs. That appears to be as far as it goes. Uh, that goes for the same side. Nice rotation there. Right, his legs move up that far and move back that far. And he does have a little waggle here at the uh, bottom of the foot. But yeah, it's a pretty nice uh, vampire figure. Obviously, this is a Marvel Comics vampire. He's not going to be like, you know, spot on to like something you might expect to see from, say, uh, Universal Monsters like Dracula. It's like a superhero vampire. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, I hear that they are making a Morbius movie, so that should be exciting. Um, and we will probably get a figure of Morbius as he appears in that movie as well. I think this is definitely a really spooky, awesome vampire figure. Mobius is a really cool character in the comic books. And come on, people love vampires. Why do you think they make so many vampire movies across different decades and generations? Because vampires are cool, whether they be sexy vampires, or they be sparkle vampires, you know, whether they be the creepy goth vampires, everybody loves them. Whether they be having grease in their hair, who knows? But everybody loves them, and I think this is definitely an awesome vampire figure, if you're into that. And I think Marvel Legends have outdone themselves again, creating awesome comic book accurate characters in action figure form. But, with that being said, this brings our video to a close. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't let the vampires bite you on the way out. And, happy haunts.